Hello, everybody. This is your host, Hebro77, for today's news briefing. Tonight, we will be talking about a phenomenon that's been happening around the country, even around the world. Yes, that's right. Flying toddlers. Hard to believe, you might say. Well, just wait for the range of witnesses we have for you on tonight's program. Yes, is as amazing as it may seem, this phenomenon sweeping the nation is completely true. There are flying toddlers right now as we speak, sweeping the nation. Where this comes from, nobody knows. But these flying two, the three, the four-year-olds, even one-year-olds could be very dangerous. They can drop sudden objects on you, hitting you on your head, knocking you unconscious even. This goes back in the days of the Bible when babies would fly with angel wings. But the most recent incidents occurred way back in 1968. When an old man had an, well, he wasn't an old man. When this man had an encounter with a flying toddler, this was one of the first most recent reports of flying toddler syndrome. We will take you to that interview and much, much more. as flying toddlers are spotted around the country. And the big question on everyone's mind is, what would you do if you, in fact, spotted one of these flying toddlers? Well, we'll find out the answer to that at the end of the program. But first, ladies and gentlemen, let me talk, take you to a man who has actually encountered one of these Flying toddlers. Here is Walt Johnson, a longtime resident of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, on his horrendous encounter with these flying toddlers. One day uh, in June, it was a hot day. I remember that. And it was a Monday. I remember that because I hate Mondays. I was walking down the sidewalk, getting ready to go to my local Zwix department store. And uh, I felt this drop land on my head. At first I thought it was bird doo doo. But then as I looked up, I looked in the sky and I'll be damned if I didn't see a flying toddler. Damnest thing I ever saw. And then when I examined closely, it was applesauce. Applesauce had fallen from the toddler's mouth as he was eating applesauce from the jars he was flying. I guess he must have taken it with him before he took off out the window. Or wherever he took off from. Anyway... That is the first time in my life, and the last time, thank goodness, I encountered one of these flying toddlers. Walt Johnson is just one of the many residents of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who has spotted these flying toddlers. And Milwaukee, Wisconsin is just one of the many cities and states, as there has been many reports around the world. You've heard of reports of flying saucers, UFOs, and aliens of the sort. The whole UFO Area 51 phenomenon does not stop at UFOs. No, indeed. A one Air Force captain witnessed such an encounter himself. Here is his hearing tell of this flying toddler encounter. Lieutenant Squad Commander uh, Johnny Forbes, U.S. Air Force. Uh, I encountered encountered one of these flying toddlers. I was flying my 
XRS 5000 and I saw one of these flying toddlers out of the cockpit of my plane. At first I didn't believe what I was seeing, but then when I saw this toddler, he appeared to have he or she, I couldn't identify them from the cockpit of my my flying X-wing. Um they appeared to have a blanket in their hand. At first I thought it was a cape, and then I thought, no, that's preposterous. Only baby supermans have capes. But this was a flying toddler with a blankie. A blankie! I couldn't believe it. These flying toddlers spotted all over the world, as you can hear accounts. Where did they come from? Who are they? Are they an act of nature, an act of God? Maybe one man has the answer. We sat down with a short interview from a scientist, a doctor, if you will. Dr. Havitt. Dr. Havitt may have some of the answers to the clues of which we are seeking. What are these flying toddlers? Where do they come from? Here's Dr. Havid on that and a whole lot more. Hello, I'm Dr. Ray Havid, scientist, physician, madman. And these flying toddlers can only be explained by one explanation. There is a geological gene which is inside of these. The adult males uh, mostly have this gene. And when the their sperm is ejaculated into the woman's vagina the sperm then carries the gene which we call the flying gene into the egg the female then it creates a baby which is not flyable as a baby as a newborn they 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 could not fly uh, they do not have the power of flight. However, as they grow older and to toddler age, say about oh, two or three, sometimes even as old as four years old, that is when we notice that they um, ob obtain the power of flight. And at first they don't know what they're doing. They're all jumping out the window all willy-nilly. You know, some are walking across uh, construction beams uh, and then you chase them down and just when you think they're about ready to fall off the edge of a construction beam, they just start floating in midair um, onto the other side of the next construction beam, uh, which is very confusing. We call this the Popeye sweet pea syndrome. Um, now, not all toddlers have this ability of flight, so there have been many... Uh, failed attempts at uh, crashing toddlers, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of times we are able to catch them with a very sturdy blanket or a handmade quilt of some kind. So a, a lot of accidents and or deaths have been avoided as such. Um, but th there really is no true explanation for this other than it's just an act of randomness. We don't know how to um predict which fathers um have this gene in their dna and how they pass it on to their uh children but what we do know is for sure flying toddlers is no laughing matter so there you have it from dr james Havitt, flying toddlers menace or hero who knows? The biggest question, though, on this show is, what would you do if you were Connor, one of these flying toddlers? One thing I do know is don't shake a baby rattle at them. Do not entice these toddlers. They may look cute, but they are very dangerous. Some flying toddlers have been seen with applesauce in their hands. These jars of applesauce can come down from the sky and give you concussions. Do not, and I repeat, do not 
attempt to encounter these these flying toddlers. If you do see or spot a flying toddler, please report it to your local authorities immediately. For Channel 3 News, this has been Hebro 77 signing off. Good night and good health. We'll see you next time on News of the Weird and Wacky. Good night, everybody.